morning everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Well, today is Thursday the 25th of August. You realize that in four months, it's Christmas Day. The time's a wasting, people. The time's just a going. So, it's so appropriate here that I have my nutcrackers. And I'm going to continue working on my nutcrackers. And on the 1st of September, I'm going to be starting a Halloween um, sampler. So, you got to stay tuned for that, of course. So, I'm just going to be busy here. Uh, I'm taking the chance of doing my video right now. I should have done it earlier, but I'm expecting the hydro inspector uh, to be showing up. And they said anywhere between 10 and 12. So I waited at 9.30 when I normally do my video because I thought, oh gosh, yeah, he's going he's gonna to show up here right away. And no, he didn't. And now it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I could have had my video done and uploaded. So, yeah. Thank you for all the kind comments yesterday when I spoke about my, um, as I start my journey um, dealing with diabetes. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would ever be a diabetic. I just never thought it. Just never thought it. But um, luckily there's a few people around here that I know. Uh, well, that are my friends. Um, Juliet and Pat. And I spoke with Pat yesterday and um, she and I work together as a nurses at the same long-term care facility and she was the same way you know like it's just you don't feel right you don't put it together and yeah and then it's just found by accident really so um I had gone there to the to the clinic to find out what my glucose level was and they wouldn't tell me and my doctor was standing right there right beside me and I asked her I said Dr. F can you um, can you tell her that I would like my glucose level and so she told her and then after Dr. F left with her new patient for the day that I tried to get it and the girl at the front desk says no I can't give it to you that's something the doctor has to do I said she was standing right here and she told you it was okay to give it to me. No, 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 can't do that. That's something that the doctor has to discuss. Oh, for crying out loud. You know, this is about me. I'm not talking about Joe Blow down the street that I want to know what his numbers are, right? Yeah, this is, this is me. This is my chart. This was my blood. These are my numbers. Like, I don't understand it, why it is that I can't get that basic information. And uh, so I was getting angry and and that. So I've got a phone appointment at 12.15. Can you imagine? A phone appointment just to tell me what my glucose number was. So, um, yeah, I was not happy. I was not happy. 
And it's funny because I've had blood work done and they've done the uh, A1C uh, number and nothing has ever shown, you know, that I was even on the high side or at least my doctor never said anything. Like it could have been, but, you know, that it was creeping up there, but it, um, um, she never said anything. So, but, uh, yeah, so my, um, my hands and feet are still tingling a lot, like right now. And that I know is part and parcel. That's the neuropathy. And now I wonder if my chest pain and my um what is it? My anxiety and also um you know, the, the, all of that is all part of my symptoms. Now, each person's symptoms are different, right? So, yeah, like I have tingling here. and But I was never told that my um, eyes were affected. But I've had problems with my, with my eyes. For especially my right eye, but the optometrist never said anything, you know, and he never said, Oh, gee, you know, you got problems with your eyes, so you better go and get that checked because I think you might have diabetes or something. But nope, nothing, nothing. So I had my eyes checked just over a year ago. And I got new glasses. So, so now my eye exams are free. But, I mean, once I turn 65 next year, they're free anyways. But I had them for free except for $20. Um, because of... Um, uh, migraines and um, I don't know whatever else but now I wonder if yeah but that still doesn't answer questions for me about because I've had eye pain for years and if I was even pre-diabetic, then I would have been told, right? But nothing. So, yeah. So, tomorrow I won't be posting a video. Because I'm going to Portage tomorrow. And um, so I won't have time to be able to post something. So, come on. Come on. But yeah, it's, it's really nice what you've all said. And the love and support that you've given me. Now, it's not a death sentence, right? So, it's uh, it's not like I've got uh, stage four liver cancer or something, right? It's it's not that. But 
it's it's still it's a journey it's still a journey for sure and um, so it's it's just wonderful to hear from you all about you know your own journeys into diabetes and um, what's been happening with you and um, yeah so but I am watching what I'm eating I've been looking at reducing my carbs um, the thing is I've got food here and I'm going to use whatever food I've got but I'll use it in moderation um, but I um, I will um, I'm not throwing it out <laughs> spent too much money on it but I will make better choices. So I learned today that avocados and cucumbers and asparagus and tomatoes are very good for diabetics. So that. Okay, I'll have to get some of that because I'm vegan, right? So I don't have, I don't eat eggs or drink milk or anything like that. So, but I will have to look at carbs and sugars now. And be always aware of it. So. And fruits. I can have certain fruits in limited quantities. Like oranges. Or bananas. Or grapes. Grapefruit. Um, pineapple. You know, and they're, they're all the, the, um, sweet fruits. So, yeah. But... <laughs> You know, that would explain why I've been having chest pain lately. I still say it's anxiety and panic related. But having, you know, um, diabetes doesn't help. Right. I'm hoping tomorrow that when I go... When we go, sorry, when we go, that's Juliet and I. When we go to um, Portage, I'm going to be stopping in at MCC and hopefully I can find um, a few books on, on uh, diabetic carb counting and what to look for. So, those of you that are diabetic, how many carbs are you allowed per day in grams? Okay. They talk about percentage-wise and everything else. No. No. I I I can't do that. I want to know in um the actual carbs 
how many grams or milligrams or whatever it is um, that I can have. I think it's grams. I think that's what it is. And, um, because I'm still not sure. Now, Juliet figured around 50 grams. Pat figured 50 to 70 grams. I've heard as hard, high as 230 grams, which is, I think it's too high. But, of course, no matter what it is that you, you try to reduce that, right? And, of course, I'm going to do it the way that Juliet, no, the way that Pat does it. That it's, you see how many grams of, of carbs that there are and how many grams of fiber that they are. And so you subtract the number of grams of five fiber per serving from the total number of grams that you've got. And then you've got your, because fiber slows it all down. And I think that's an easy way for me to do it. Like, I can still have pasta, but I just can't have big bowls of it. Mind you, when, I'm, when I make my meal, I just, I'll cook enough for two or three days. And then I will take out of that, and I, I don't go back for seconds. I'm not one for going back for seconds. So, until I get to know what I can and cannot have and how much that I I can have. Like, I don't know about the vegan yogurt yet. Um, and I need vegan yogurt or unsweetened applesauce so I can take with my pills at night. So, I guess we'll just kind of wait and see. Wait and see. So, yeah. So, it's a beautiful day today. There's very high, thin, cirrus clouds up there. And I'm not sure what the temperature is. Alexa, what's the forecast? In Ericsdale, it's 18 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather with a high of 23 degrees and a low of 14 degrees. I noticed last night that the evenings are starting to get cool. And it's just, yeah, but we're only a week away from September. So, but uh, I don't know um, also when they're, if Randy and Pam are coming back here to work on the garage at all and the deck so it's uh, still a lot of work with that too so but it's it's getting there they already replaced one board on the deck and um, so, and several boards are lifted up, but they've got them marked with spray paint so that I'm more obvious, you know, I'm more careful around them.
so but um anyways and uh over at Juliet's there they're cutting the arborist has come and and is cleaning out the trees and getting rid of the the dead stuff. I know here there has to be quite a bit done because there's a lot of trees here that really need to, um, you know, have branches cut off. So, oh, and I still haven't found my glucometer. I have no idea, no idea where it is. I have looked and looked and looked and looked, and I just cannot find it. I found um, one of the little bottles with my strips in there, but I can't find my case. I just don't. I don't know where the case went. And, you know, if I have to get a new one, like if I can't find the one that I've had, I got to find, I got to buy a new one tomorrow. And um, here it is, like if you buy a um, container of strips, you get the meter for free, but the strips alone are a hundred bulk, a hundred dollars. So, it's, I'm kind of hoping maybe tomorrow at Walmart because I believe I got this one at Walmart, I think that's what I did that I um, I hope they have a sale on. Because you know what? As soon as I buy one, I'll come home and Saturday I'll find it. I'll just find it. I have one more place down there I think I'm going to look. And um, we'll see. Isn't it funny that I had bought it because I wasn't feeling well about maybe three years ago, four years ago. So I bought it to take my blood sugar. And everything was fine. And now that I need it, can't find it but that's always the case so I've been asking Saint Anthony for help he's the patron saint of lost things so if you're ever looking for something you can ask for Saint Anthony's help um, Saint Antoine in um, in French um, however you want to say his name. Um, he's the one that, uh, and he's helped me out a lot. But he will, he'll all of a sudden give me the idea to go, well, look over here, or look over there, or something, you know. And not, and it's not verbally. Right? It's just this. You just get this feeling. You just get this this um, sense, you know, like, oh, I got to go over here and look for it. So, but, yeah. 
So, uh, so I kind of cleaned out the um, uh, the porch there. Should have done a long time ago and just never did. But I want to get it tidied up. And I did. And that. But yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what the day brings. I'm looking forward to tomorrow for us to get out and and um, go. Um, so yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to listen to you. Um, oh, oh, there's a, another piece of heavy machinery that's going to go north. They're already starting to get stuff like that when the roads, when the, before the ice roads finished, they started bringing stuff down to get repaired. And now they are starting to bring it back north again so that um, uh, it'll be ready. You know, I, I don't know where it's going, but um, a lot of it's going up on the ice roads. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a... Um, that's when you really start seeing things. Um, they really start moving, like the loads really start going in about, I don't know, February, I guess. And it lasts for six to eight weeks. But a lot of times what they do is they will take these, whatever it is, and they'll haul it up to the furthest port point that they can until the ice roads open and then once um, the ice roads open then trucks will just you know they can haul it from there so um, yeah it's interesting it's very interesting um what what happens I know there was one point there when Lyle wanted to run the ice roads and I don't know what happened why he didn't why he didn't actually do that I'm not sure I'm not sure but Yeah. So. Oh my gosh, these flashbacks are just about going to kill me. Oh God, please help me where I don't have flashbacks. I'm wondering if that's all, not all part and parcel of symptoms with diabetes okay so i know that diabetes can affect the heart the pancreas um kidneys um you know er everything else really right and uh the eyes and um so i'm just wondering because you never know right because, um, like, I have the tingling in my hands and feet. Juliet didn't have it, but Pat did, you know. Or, no, Pat didn't, but her daughter Sherry did. And um, so, 
and Sherry, Sherry was quite heavy. And I, even Pat was quite heavy. And now they've both lost a lot of weight, but they still count their carbs. So, and once a diabetic, always a diabetic. So even though your A1C numbers have count, come down or your other blood sugar um, uh, numbers have come down, your glucose numbers, that you still have diabetes. You know, it's like heart disease or kidney disease. You may feel better and things may be normal, but you still have it. And so you still have to be careful of all of that. So anyway, I think that's it for now. So this is how far I've gotten. So I've been working here up on the side here. So I'm going to do a little bit more here. And work my way up. And I don't know if I'll take it with me tomorrow so I can stitch uh, in Susie. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So it depends because it's just the black. You know, it's not like I'm doing all different colors. It's just the black. That's the beauty of picking one color and working on that one color. You know, so. And besides that, then you, you know that color's finished. And, you, you know, you just move on to something else. So. All right. I guess that's it. So. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle. It's always you without Miss Lily Bell, who's sleeping away, as she always is. David's looking after her tomorrow, so I'm, I'm happy about that. He'll come down here, and Randy and Pam will be here, but... They're going to be busy outside, I'm I'm assuming. So, yeah. So, um, and just a reminder that I will not be on tomorrow, but I will be on again on Saturday. Okay? Um, yeah, because I, I just, I'm not going to feel like it tomorrow at all. Even if we get home early, which I doubt it. I think we'll be home around 5.36. I think so because my doctor's appointment is at 215 and we'll see how things go from there so all right everyone so I guess I will see you on Saturday be well everyone to littles everybody